from the brewery to Boulder, but their route had them in the mountains. And the first task they faced was a steep climb up Golden Gate Canyon. While the field was concerned with the climb, race leader Bernard Hinault had a private task to keep Phil Anderson and Greg LeMond in check. With Pierce dispatched in Estes Park, they were the only two who could threaten his lead. The descents on the course were fast and twisting. The bike handling was critical. A mistake here would prove very costly. Andy Hampston of the Levi's Pro Team stood in fourth place, over three and a half minutes behind Eno. He had to take chances if he were to try and win the Coors Classic. Hampton took off alone about a third of the way into the 87-mile race and opened up a good gap. The field got motivated and almost caught him at the 70-mile mark, but Hampton was able to pull away and again open up a good margin. However, as they neared the city limits, Hampton's dream of a solo win crumbled, and the finish was instead a field sprint. And Greg LeMond! Greg LeMond! It's going to be... The broken dream then belonged to Greg LeMond, who seemed to have the sprint won when off his wheel came Russian Dmitry Konashev to steal the win. I probably gave up too easily because I thought I had it. I didn't really push myself all the way to the end, thinking I had it won, and... He just came zipping by me. Just nothing more than a derivation of English and German. Oh, Chanel Parks! The Niwot time trial.